Ladies, gentlemen, horny teens, whoever else watches these things, we have a very special episode of Off Script for you tonight. It's all about the 2015 world title race. We've got donuts. We've got goggles. We have, I think we have a dog somewhere in here. I've already had three glasses of wine. I'm Jackie Tazi, and let's make fun of surfing. All right, let's pick this story off the same place it ended last year. The seventh layer of Mick Fanning's brain. Mick has to think he's gonna take it all this year. I mean, he has to. The guy beats the shit out of a great white at J-Bay, only to come so far and then to lose to a couple Brazilian kids at Pipe? Not gonna happen. But the trouble is the road to Mick's fourth title isn't a very well-paved one. There are lots of curves and speed bumps and there are a handful of surfers riding his ass waiting for him to break down so they can raid and pillage him like a bunch of 9th century Vikings or so that he at least has to pull over and call AAA for roadside assistance. In order for Mick to eliminate the chances of anybody else walking off with the big trophy, he needs to win Pipe Masters. If he gets second, both Felipe Toledo and Adriano de Souza can still win the title by winning the event. If he gets third or fifth or ninth, Felipe can win the title if he matches Mick's results and Adriano can win it if he makes it one round deeper than Mick. If Mick gets 13th or 15th, the race opens up to guys like Gabriel Medina, Julian Wilson, and Owen Wright. If every single surfer I just mentioned loses in the first round, the WSL mandates that each contender drink a fifth of Jack Daniels and wrestle indoors while Glenn Hall officiates. Something I'd be interested in watching. My money would be on Owen. And that wraps it up for this episode of Off Script. The swell forecast is looking pretty burly, so we should have a hell of a finish for Pipe. In Richie Porter we trust, I guess. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>